Hey everyone, how are you today? Hopefully good. Today we're going to be talking about pendulums. Yeah, <laughs> I recently received one for my birthday from my daughter and I'm very interested in it. So I ended up buying a book just to get me started. I mean, I used to use pendulums like a little bit. I dabbled in it a little bit. I'm not like really into them. So I just want to like refresh my mind, so to speak. So, but this is the book I bought today. A Little Bit of Pendulums by Danny Bryant. It's an introduction to pendulum divination. It's a cute little book. I love the colors on here. Let's see. It has <clears throat> about 116 pages. And I'll read the back to you. With every swing of the pendulum, you can develop your spiritual energy. This easy to follow guide will help you get the most out of your pendulum and seek the answers that are within. Authors Danny Bryant's comprehension text covers everything about choosing and using a pendulum, how pendulums work, different ways to use them, meditation and divination, connecting with your spirit guides, and even how to make your own pendulum, which I've done that a while ago. <laughs> I think it was like last year or the year before. This book also includes 15 circle charts that you can use to ask your pendulum simple questions. So that's cool. <laughs> so I can use it. Or if I want, I can just make my own. That'd be something later on that we can do. That'd be actually fun. You know, like a DIY pendulum circle. All right. Let's see. They have how to, how do pendulums work? Why use a pendulum? Different types of pendulums before you get started. How to use the pendulum and pendulum circles. I want to use, I want to go see the circles because that'd be fun doing different circles. Let's see. All right. This is the one I basically have the simple yes, no, be, maybe not now one. So that's cool. They do have a crystal one that looks really interesting. Moon phases, also interesting. Chakras, cool. Career, uh, meditation and relaxation methods. Divination methods. Oh wait, what is this one? I skipped one. Life improvements. Uh, and the last one over here is alphabet, alphabet circle, but yeah, you can make your own. They have some blank ones over here if you want to make your own. So that'd be cool. You can actually just maybe cut this out or just make your own with a cardboard or something and, you know, make it colorful, something to that effect, which would be, which would be awesome. All right. <sighs> Let's see if we can ask a couple of questions with mine. Because I know they have questions here that I was looking at earlier. All right. Yeah, let's put this like this. What type of questions should I ask? All right. Just to play with this for a couple seconds. Like I said, I haven't... This is barely new, if I can spit it out today. So, yeah. My daughter got this for my birthday uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's really pretty. See, this is what it looks like. It's really cute. And then she got me the mat. All right, let's see. We're just going to ask a couple of questions just, to, just for fun. All right. First question I'll ask is, should I wear red shoes today? <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's see. Got to make sure it's... It's not moving. Okay. Should I wear red shoes today? I would say a yes. Okay. All right. Are my keys in the kitchen? Let's see if it's right. Let's see if it works good. Because I know where my keys are. All 
Uh, my keys in the kitchen. <laughs> That's true. They're not in there. <laughs> All right. We'll ask a couple more questions. Is my strongest psychic ability clairvoyance? All right. Let's see. Is my strongest psychic ability clairvoyance? Is my strongest psychic ability clairvoyance? Yes. Hmm. Cool. All right. One more question. All right, should I change jobs? If this knows it, this is good because I don't know if I should or not because I kind of like my job. So we'll see what happens. Right, should I change jobs? No. Oh, okay, cool. I was going to say yes, I would have been like, yeah. All right, guys. There you have it. So what I'm going to try to do in the future is get a couple more books about pendulums, see what things I can do, even make my own little circle, which would be cool and interesting. And who knows, maybe I can ask different questions and do different things with it have a couple more videos and stuff which is good but anyways I just want to say thank you for watching as always please hit that subscribe button and uh, probably making a little bit more videos on pendulums and stuff all right guys see you later have a nice day evening afternoon night whatever <laughs> wherever you are just have a beautiful day Bye. Mwah. See you later.